Morning everyone and welcome to the wrap of round three for the third eleven. Round three saw us take on Bell Park Ed at Bell Park, uh, which is one of the nicer ovals that uh, we get to play on in the threes. Uh, plenty of value for shots out there, uh, which is probably something we're not too used to. Uh, look, Bell Park won the toss and uh, decided to have a bat first, uh, which saw us take the field. I've thrown the ball to uh, Des McQueen, who's um, back in for his first game uh, of the season. Uh, Daz has had a, a back injury and uh, he seems to be going okay now, so um, some pretty good signs there. Uh, Daz ended up with one for 40 from his nine overs and uh, look, he bowled pretty well for his first up, uh, first up game, so well done Daz. Liam Smith um, from the other end, um, again bowled a treat, um, two for 32 off his nine, uh, which included a fantastic court and bold um, to get the prized wicket of Luke Turner. Uh, so well done Liam. Not only is Liam bowling well, um, he is uh, fast becoming a really important part of the side. Liam, uh, you know, taking catches in the field, his fielding's fantastic, and uh, also backing up some of us old blokes uh, in the field, which is much appreciated. So, well done, Liam. Uh, the other bowlers, we had Jez Wurgis. Uh, Jeremy ended up with uh, none for 37 off his nine overs. Uh, had a few front foot no ball issues, um, which is not helped by somebody marking the way, uh, the line 100 mil short of where it should actually have been. Uh, so it's always fun when you try and get your uh, your run up right. Um, at the end of the day, Jez bowled pretty well. Um, so good work there, Jez. Um, Bailey Kale, one for 50 off his nine overs. Um, Bailey bowled well. A um, few chances that you know were just left or just right of the fieldsman. Um, so it could have easily been a couple more for, for Buddha. So well done there, mate. Um, Lemmy, next to bowl. Lemmy bowled really well. Bowled five overs, uh, one for 24. Um, so that was a really good effort there, Lemmy. And last but not least, uh, the late call-up, uh, Sean Skeen to the side. Uh, Skeeny bowled four overs, two for 24. And again, was creating chances, um, which could have easily seen him take a, another couple of wickets. So... Well done there, Skeeny. Um, at the end of the day, Bell Park, uh, well, by the scorebook, made uh, seven for 210. Um, checked my cricket this morning, which actually says seven for 205, which makes the result uh, even closer. Uh, look, uh, we felt we had them pretty well pegged down for most of their innings, um, and they took their chances in the, in the last four or five overs, which you can do when you've got uh, wickets in the shed, um, they end up making 40 odd off the last, uh, you know, say four overs. Um, we still felt that it was a pretty uh, good score to keep them to. As I said, it's pretty fast out there and um, plenty of value for shots. Uh, so we we're fairly confident going into bat uh, that we'd be able to, um, you know, put on a, a good run chase. Um, we opened up the batting and uh, James Menzies in for his third game. Uh, this year in the thirds. Look, he made 40 um, and looked really good again. Um, I can see some big things coming for men's in the next couple of games, so well done, men's. Uh, but definitely the pick of the batsman uh, for us of the day was uh, Lammy. Um, ended up with 67. And look, he just hit the ball to all parts. Um, loves that pull shot. And uh, but unfortunately, he uh, looks like he may have hurt his knee. Uh, late in his innings, um, required a runner, um, you know, late in the innings. So we just have to see how that knee injury goes for, for Lammy. Uh, quite a few of us got to double figures and uh, and didn't go on with it. Um, a little bit disappointing. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we our score was 9 for 193. Um, so in the end, it was a, it was a really good game, a really good run chase. Um, plenty of positives to come from the game and uh, just on this occasion unfortunately just came up short so um, look, at the end of the day again you know well done to the guys um, as I said plenty of positives and uh, look forward to round four against uh, AT. 
Oh, thanks, guys. Our fifth development squad headed out to Newcomb for a home game versus Warm Ponds. Um, on a ground that didn't look like it had been mowed for the past couple of weeks, which is always going to be tough for both sides. Uh, we got sent in by Warm Ponds and managed to get to 158. We opened the baton with Chris Morrissey Jr. and uh, and Fothers, who got us to 31 before Fothers managed to drop on. Uh, Morris uh, started to form a couple of partnerships with, with TJ, Harry and Derry, uh, but unfortunately they, they fell a little bit cheaply. Um, and, and we sort of got into a bit of trouble there at 5 to 51. I joined Ash, sort of played a bit of a support role. He was hitting around everywhere. Any short ball he was punishing, better than an absolute treat. Um, ended up making 49 before going out bold. Um, we managed to get the score to 127. Um, and then we had uh, the, the more juniors and Morris Junior and Morris Senior come in, um, managed to hit a few more runs and get up to 158, which was a really good score on that ground. Our turn to bowl. Um, and combination of some really tight bowling and some pretty tepid batting at the start saw Warm Ponds creep to 1 for 33 off 20 overs. So the halfway point we were looking pretty good um, but as is the nature of what is this grade of cricket you just don't know what's going to happen and uh, they had a bloke come out hit 50 off about 25 balls and really turn the game back in their favour. Um, his partner who was also starting to tee off as well um, for whatever reason decided to play a reverse sweep got bowled and really swung the game back in our favour. Um, with, with the bowlers, Levi up front um, did really well again. Eight overs, none for 11. Uh, Chris Morrissey Jr., as he does at the start and finish, just opens the game and closes the game for us. Eight overs, one for 16. Ash backed up his batting with a superb spell of bowling. Eight overs, two for 18. Uh, Chris Morrissey Sr. got his first uh, wicket for Marshall. Seven overs, one for 46. TJ bowled his spinners, eight overs, for, uh, two for 40, bowled really well at the death. Um, Maddox rolled his arm over one over, one over for 14. Um, probably a big shout out to, to the bowlers in that um, for the game we only bowled two wides compared to Warm Ponds who managed to bowl 25 uh, wides and no balls between them. So with pretty much the difference in the end, they got the 146, they fell 12 runs short. Um, again. Super proud of all the all the young boys that play. We had four from the under 15s and one from the under 17s this week. Um, that's two games that have gone the distance, and couldn't be more proud with the way they've stuck at it all day. And we're now two and zero, which is a great place to be um, as we head into the season. These early wins are crucial as we sort of face into some probably more difficult rounds of, of unavailabilities, and we're just not sure what we're going to um, have available, but also who we're playing against. So again, great effort um, and good to get a good good to get another win.